Hey, welcome back on the bonsai, but I'm here for some Fallout 4. That's right, it is the Housewife Challenge, the permadeath, and survival mode. Yeah, and uh, in the last episode, we came down here to Starlight Drive-In and basically stored a whole bunch of things. We did a lot of looting, we did a little bit of shopping, came down here, and between episodes, she made herself a little homestead with a little bed. Yeah. A little bit of stuff going on here. Um, right. So let's uh, take a look at what else she's done. We've emptied out our inventory and dog meats. We slept until nightfall. And here it is. Here's her little homestead. Home away from home and a place to save the game. A little bit of D. And she's looking to build a bathroom. She's tired of using the woods. Yes. So we're not going to use the woods anymore. She's going to make herself a proper bathroom. If we can see where we're going. All right, there goes dog meat running off. Let's head down to the Super Duper Mart, shall we? Yeah, let's go on down to the Super Duper Mart. Now, Lexington can be a very dangerous place. Um, you have raiders and you have tons of um, muty boys. Oh, game, come on, don't crash. <laughs> there we go. And we have a lot of ghouls. Um, and it's a very dangerous place. And one of the um, one of the raiders down there has a fat man launcher. And we don't want anything to do with that, do we? No, <laughs> we do not. We just want to head down here to the Super Duper Mart. Now, the wonderful thing about this tree mod is that you can get lost out here. That is the Shady Acres. And we're way off... We're way off where we want to be. So let's head on over toward the SDM. We've discovered Lexington. And now we're going to be on the outside of the Super Duper Mart. And I want to turn off my light. And I know it's dark, folks. But I don't want anybody to see me, especially that guy with the fat man. There are uh, raiders in those buildings over there. And raiders pretty much all over this place. So you need to be kind of a little bit careful coming up here. So, let's get sneaking. And we'll head up the side yeah. of the Super Duper Mart. There we go. Look at that. Idiot Savant Proc. So, what I'm going to do, basically, as I loot through this place, is I'm going to put everything in a trash can just inside the door. So that we can come back in here and retrieve everything fairly easily. Now, I'm not going to lie. This place is dangerous on survival mode. Yeah, it really, really is. Um, the ghouls in here can one-shot you or two-tap you, and you are done. Um, you need to be sneaky. You need to be sly. you got to pick your targets and your battles, everything. Because um, it may not look like there's anything there, but all of a sudden, they are everywhere. Now, I'm going to take everything out of here. Absolutely everything. Right? So. And I'm going to fill dog meat up first. So that he's full... Then we are in good shape, and we know that he's got everything. Uh, yeah. Love the physics on those shopping carts. <laughs> so let's just transfer that stuff in there, and I'll show you what we're doing. We're just basically going to do this. And we're just going to put everything in there that we can. All right. Now, one of the things we definitely want to do is I'm going to use this, um, I'm going to use the shovel... Because what you're going to do with ghouls is that first shot is the one that matters. Okay? We can one-shot ghouls, but if you only get one shot with a trash can lid, um, yeah, it's not going to go well for you. So what we're looking for in here is food. Uh, what's in there? Ew! Moldy food. No, 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 no. Not for Bonnie! <clears throat> Let's get that shovel up. And let's basically click, click. There is a feral ghoul down there, and it's alive. All right, good to know. So what we want to do is head down here, grab all this. Yeah, we're going to grab all the stuff we can. There is also um, a magazine in here, which will give us better prices at vendors. So we're going to want that as well. Come on now. Let me grab that. Right. 
Is there a can of beans around here too? I thought there was. No. <clears throat> okay. There's the can of beans. I knew there was one around here somewhere. Ooh, good stuff in there. And some crisps. Let's take those. Alrighty then. And this and the feather duster and that. Okay. So, next stop. Let's head in to this little office here and see if we can't get in the safe. There's a safe in here and we can control the robot also. He may or may not be a help to you. Uh, sometimes they're worthless, but other times they're not. So let's see if we can get this done. Her intelligence is very low, so <laughs> it might take me a few chances to actually do this. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, also, this place does take a little bit of time to clear out, so it may be a little bit longer of an episode. But let's try name. Two. Not bad. All right, let's uh, see if we can uh, eliminate some of the others. There's one. Yeah. That's another one. There's one. All right. So basically, I'm just looking for the, the, uh, it, the beginning quote. The open quote. That starts, yeah, and uh, if you find that, usually you can find all the little, uh, the little eliminators that, that narrow down your search. So that's kind of what I'm looking for as I'm going through this. Now, I sometimes miss a few. Um, wow, she didn't get a lot of clues here. Not a lot of clues at all. So, name had two. That's N-A-M-E. Uh, um, there aren't too many that have that. Cage. Sweet. There you go. All right, let's open the safe. Yes, indeed. Disengage that lock, my friend. We'll have that open up and we'll loot the heck out of that. And... Let's get that Protectron out. He might protect us. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes he's helpful. Sometimes he's not. Activate him. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Let's take all that. We don't want the gun. All right. Get that, uh, get that weapon out, Bon Bon. One thing I don't want to do in here is make a fumble mistake. Um, these ghouls will actually pop you hard. Um, and I don't want them getting me. I don't want to die to ghouls, right, at level 8? Come on. If we're going to die, let's die at level 40 to, like, a death claw or something, you know? <laughs> so what? I'm going to be a little bit careful. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go around the outside. And pick up everything we can pick up. Grab everything we can. There is a live ghoul here. Uh, somewhere. I think like that one. Oh, right over there he is. All right, so let's... Uh, dog me. Go get that ghoul. Take a look. Yeah, go get him. Attention. Citizens, you may now resume Get your normal activities. <laughs> Look, he's just staring at him. There he goes. I got him for you there, dog meat. Don't you worry, don't you fret. Yeah. And it's so funny when I do strikes like that, and when I kill things using melee weapons, I immediately want to push the reload button. Which is kind of funny, if you think about it. You don't have to reload, and I, and I, and I probably need to be careful of that, because it's probably going to end up being a fumble finger moment, and that would not be good. Whenever you confuse yourself, you know, that's never good. All right, Robit. You're in a good spot there, buddy. Let's see if you can, uh, if you can help me out. That'd be great. Because I think... Dog meat's in my way. He's pushing me around. Two ghouls actually 
Um, yeah, they spawn right there. God damn it, dog. Target. Oh my I god, he's stuck. Situation normal. <laughs> Situation order. normal? Has been intruder commencing. <laughs> <I'm hostile. laughs> I'll help you out there, Robot. How's that? Yeah, that'll work. Let's grab these beer bottles. Uh, yeah. And some beer. Bonnie loves her beer. Let's grab it right here. <laughs> While we're here. Yeah, let's grab as much of this stuff as we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, there is a magazine in here that I want to get as well. So we're going to be looking for that. It's on a magazine rack. A tarberry. Nice. Oh, there you go. Tarberries make the most OP mentat. The berry mentat, I believe. Yeah, which is really nice. It's a wall hack, which is great. You can see through walls. You can see all your enemies. All right, we got some ceramic. Bonnie's going to be making that bathroom of hers. Oh, goody. No more going in the, in the woods. Yes, that's right. That's something you need to think about up in Sanctuary Hills right now. With five people living there, <clears throat> you need to start thinking about putting bathrooms in those places. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Overdrive. Wow. All right, what did I do to deserve that? <laughs> All right, let's continue. Okay. Make sure there's nothing here that we need. I'm not going to sit down anywhere. There's a glass. Glass is good for glass. Glasses are good for glass. Say it ain't so, Bonsai. Say it ain't so. Wow. You are like... You're a wizard. Oh, I am a wizard. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, a little bit of bone. Yeah, so right over here's the magazine rack you're looking for, right here. And bingo. Let's grab that. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, hit points are looking good. There's a little wine over there. Eh. Oh, that's not funny. Why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep whining? <laughs> because I think it's funny. <laughs> It's not what it is. Okay, so let's check these in there. There's some pop in here. I know it. Yeah. We'll grab this empty glass. Mm, let's tap <clears throat> in, <clears throat> in that direction. Don't see anything. Now, in here, there are going to be some spawning ghouls. We need to be careful. Uh, there's one or two, and I can't recall how many there are. Come on, let's get this novice lock open first. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Idiot savant. Yeah, Minute Man. Now, I like his mac and cheese, a tarberry, another tarberry. And I want the hat. And I'm going to take this stuff, too. Does he have any more, uh, stuff up here? Yeah, fusion cells. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, there's gonna be something crawling through these windows here. Now yeah, you see him. Let's just take care of him. And another one crawled through the window right there. Don't you hit me. He did, he smacked me. What's the matter, boy? He didn't hit me hard, though. All right. All right. That's good. Right. Right. What about that one? Oh, a gold-plated lighter. Very nice. Let's check this. Nothing in the register. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. We'll take it. I'm hungry. Let's take a little bite to eat. Uh, yeah, notice how dog meat disappears when I go into uh, 
stealth mode. And I don't know if I want to keep him doing that or not. That's four rads. So we're not going to eat that. Fancy lads cakes are two. Have a couple of those. And we're properly fed. Right. Let's keep going. The dangerous part of this whole uh, interior is coming up. And I'm going to want to avoid it for now. If you go into that back room, that's when all the ghouls start to spawn everywhere. So be careful. Be aware. I like how the Halloween aisle has bones and stuff in it. <laughs> I do. I think that's a nice touch. <laughs> Let's just check this. Okay. I'm going to walk all the way up this aisle. Um, and check this guy. He's got a cue ball, which is nice. It's not really, but it is. All right, there's one more piece of bubble gum up there. I want it. Yeah. You can feed yourself on bubble gum. Little known fact. <laughs> Paintbrush. Now we're carrying too much. All right. Where's my dog? There he is. Hey. hey. Hey, buddy. Come here. Trade you? Yeah! Let's go, Pally. I want you to take as much as you can of this stuff, which isn't too much, admittedly, but it's better than not. Wow, you can take quite a bit. Okay. Right. Right, right, right. Right. I want these melons. Mmm. Melons. Ugh. Melons are gross. Bonnie likes them. Bonnie likes melons. And you wouldn't believe the recipes that she has for gourds. Oh, acorn squash in butter, berlays with garlic. Oh, oh, you don't know what you're missing. Hmm, she is a good housewife. For that, there is no doubt. Looks like these guys met their end at the end of a, uh, a protectron. I don't think there's too much down this way, though. I will check it. Oh, yeah, there's some yum yum deviled eggs. I want those. Mmm. Now, those of you out there who know what deviled eggs are, right, understand that there is mayonnaise in them, right? So, ew, deviled eggs from 200 years ago, is, I mean, that mayonnaise has got to gone bad a long time ago, right? Ew. Yeah. Right? I, mean, I, I like deviled eggs, and, and Bonnie can make really good deviled eggs. Make no mistake about it, she can. But she doesn't have any mayonnaise. Yeah, we're getting all the Salisbury steaks. And I think there's some pop around here, too. Somewhere. All right, there we go. Let's just work our way around here. I don't think there's that any of these uh, ghouls are alive. I don't think they are. There's pop here. Whoops, now. Come on. I'm parched. We'll drink a little bit in a little bit. Look at him. Wait, well, you just scared me, buddy. I thought you were... <laughs> He's all, like, trapped in the corner. Okay. Let's head over here. And I'm going to dump this stuff up, up at the exit. There's some mashed... Ooh, cram. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's another bottle. Okay. Now, dog meat's full, and we're going to keep him that way for now. And I'm going to put some stuff away. Look at him up here. He's a lot of help out here, isn't he? All right, let's transfer a lot of stuff in there. Now, when we leave this place, we're going to be leaving um, through the back door. Uh, so we're probably going to have to come around the side. We're a little bit heavy. Um, there's not going to be anything there. It's mostly going to be food. And booze. We can grab that on the way out. Seven beers. That's probably one of the reasons. We'll put that stuff away. And all six of those melons are heavy. Five Nuka-Colas. That's weighing us down also. A couple of those. I don't mind having some. Uh, because we could use it. In fact, right now we're a little thirsty. There we go. We're still thirsty. 
Let's have, uh, well, wait a minute. I have that on the quick bar, don't I? I do. There we go. All right. Now for the challenging part of this whole interior. We've looted up everything we can on the on this part, on the big shopping side part, but the employee area is where things go sideways. And they go sideways really quick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's grab up what we can. Like, as soon as you go through those doors right there, um, ghouls spawn in behind you. Um, so you got to be really careful. I'm going to come over here and grab this f extinguisher. Wait, what was that? Ooh, a hubcap. Yeah, why not? Is this an advanced? It's a novice lock. Okay. So let's head in this way instead. I don't want those those ghouls spawning in behind me. It's very dangerous. Um, so let's not have that happen. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yeah. Let's open this novice lock. There we go. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go in here. Sneaky, sneaky. Extremely sneaky. The robot will not come back here with you, so... Be careful. All right. Guys, I'm going to go a little quietly through here. Um, if I'm not talking, it's because I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Baseball glove. Nice. There's some leather. Don't need to work that chem station. Unfortunately, you cannot free the teddy bear. <laughs> you can't move the trash can. Attention, citizens. You may now. Okay, so the robot was taking care of some stuff. It's out there shooting up some ghoul boys. But yeah, I'm gonna take everything, even that pretty picture. Uh, I'm not gonna check all the uh, all the terminals back here because it's basically uh, the employees complaining about one another. One of them losing their desk because they wanted to have an employee um, cappuccino machine. <laughs> so yeah, man. Imagine losing your desk and a place to sit down because somebody wanted to put in a cappuccino machine. Like, human resources would do something like that. I have no doubt about it. That's definitely an HR move. Let's be careful in here. Yeah, they all come in. Dog meat. Psst. Go over there. Over there. Here. Get him. There's still another one. Just be careful. Yeah, just keep your eyes open everywhere. <laughs> Come slipping in the window and he's still in there. Uh, probably just like kind of goofing off and... You know, having a cappuccino or something. Yeah, there he is. Oh, down you go, pal! Oh. Boom! Schmacka, schmacka! Down he goes. Now we're in the employee uh, break area. Oh, there's a carrot. Now, one of the things I need to get is uh, some mute fruit and uh, a little bit more of uh, corn. Because we want to make our own adhesive. Yeah, Bonnie is thrifty like that. She knows how to make her own, oh god, her own adhesive. Let me get this one. Yeah, caution, hidden, okay. At least for now. Ah, <laughs> oh, dog meat is in my way. Hey. There's some food in there. Oh, look at that bowl of cereal. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> that's also very funny. 
Ah, okay. All right, dog meat, look out, buddy. Be careful. And we've got uh, some not so friendly friends here. All right, so we need to be a little bit wary of those ghouls running around. Yeah. Any food in here? Nope, but there's a table lamp right there. Grab that for the copper. Yeah, like I said, this uh, this episode will probably go a little bit long, but um, for a good reason. We need to be really careful around here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff right there. There's also going to be a ghoul spawning back there if we do that. So we need to be careful of that. Yeah, see one coming up the steps over there? Mm hmm. Now, I am not throwing a Molotov in this place. Look at all the oil on the ground. That's just going to be your death. Plain and simple. Bob Roth's best moonshine. Good. There's a ghoul. Let that one go walking off in a distance over there. <laughs> That's fine. Let's kill this one. Yep. Okay. Now, I can't remember if that spawns this one or if this one's already spawned. Probably already has. Fusion core. Yeah, that's all good stuff. Uh, the yardstick is a weapon, actually. It's not a very good one, but it is. Um, let's take a look at it. Why not? Um, oh, it's not. You can make one out. You can make a yardstick into a weapon. So we'll do that. When we get back, I'm not sure how great of a weapon it is, but we'll try it. What's in here? Teddy bear. Leather. What else? Pop? Yeah, there's a Nuka Cherry in there. Okay. Whew. All right, now the scarier parts of this dungeon. Uh, dungeon crawl is back here. Um... Yeah, ghouls, ghouls, ghouls. Ghouls, ghouls, ghouls. <laughs> Listen. Check your surrounding. Go third person a little bit here just to see if there's anything hiding around the corners. Anything around there. Oh, wait a minute. Did I see something moving? Uh-uh. What about over here? Okay, nothing immediate. But, um, yeah. Let's just be careful. Okay, I heard something behind me. Be careful in here. <laughs> yeah, this place is... Now, is it worth running all the way back down there for stuff? I don't know. There's a ghoul smacking the heck out of my dog, though. I don't like that. Look at that dive. Yeah, there we go. That was a little bit perilous there, man. Yeah, that was a little bit nuts. Yeah, there. Like I said, if you pass through it, they're just going to start spawning in and around behind you everywhere. <laughs> now, there's some stuff back that other way, and I really don't think it's really going to be worth us running the whole way there, you know? Um, back into that corner to loot. There's some stuff back there, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm scared to go back there. Uh, there's a lot of ghouls, and there's oil all over the floor. So, and I think we're in pretty good shape to come down here. Uh, I want to leave, and then what I'll do is I will come back and get all, oh, yep, see, already heavy. So let's not pick up anything down here. And that's that's the thing. That's the point. Let's see. What can we get rid of that weighs one? The bread box. Okay. So, 
We can't pick up any more stuff down here. We could take the rest upstairs, but we're full. Um, what I'd rather do is leave here, and we will come back. Ah, but you know what? Uh, yeah, we're going to come back. We're going to go in the front entrance only, um, or this back entrance here, and grab up this stuff. I am not going to go back in that corner, just so you're aware. Ain't happening. Um, I'm going to get all the loot that I dropped off in that trash can by the entrance to the Super Duper Mart. Anything else we're pretty much going to basically get when we can. Alright, there are some ghouls down here as well. They'll come crawling out here any minute. I think. <laughs> they usually are. Yeah, there's one. I can't move fast, so let's drop some stuff off. All right, this is a nice open area. I'm going to do it. It might hurt. Uh... <laughs> it might hurt dog meat, but uh, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Some crispy bodies by the door. Right. Okay. What do you have on you? Emma's hollow tape. These guys got into a lot of trouble uh, down here. They got trapped. And that was pretty much their dealio. So what I'm going to do is open this door. Um, yeah. Now there's still a lot of loot in here that is just on the other side that we're going to want to get. So, like I said, I will go in through the entrance to that trash can and I will open up everything that's in there and I'll grab up as everything I can. I'm going to do that between episodes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. But let's uh, be a little bit careful, right? Let's head back to our humble abode at the drive-in theater where she has her lovely little house. So we're going to sneak our way up. That went pretty well. Um... Looks like she didn't really take much damage at all. Um, I think she probably got an illness. We'll check that when we get back home. And drop off all this stuff. And in between episodes, what I will do is I'll run down there, like I said. Grab all that stuff. See if I can't get in the back door. Um, there are no more ghouls between the front door and the back door. They've all been cleared. The only ones that are left in there are the ones in that back corner that I didn't want to go in. Uh, so we're not going there. <laughs> I don't want to leave you guys thinking that, you know, I'm going back in there battling, dying, whatever. It's not, uh, it's not like that. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to drop off, uh, good stuff here. <clears throat> drop off all that stuff. Let's see, the, the laser musket goes in there. Uh, that's a medium. It, I'm going to drop off the rolling pin, even though I like it. Um, it's just, it's just not anything that I need anymore. Oh, this militia hat looks nice. She's gonna wear that. Yeah! Uh, carrots. I'm just gonna drop everything off here, uh, as much as I can. Um, I'm not gonna drop everything, but anything that's got any weight to it. Um, nuka cherries, colas, that stuff, all the pork and beans. keep the two waters that we have okay the sugar bombs yeah pretty much anything that has any weight I'm just gonna drop it off get ourselves as light as we can um, wow that's a lot of bullets I'm not gonna need them I'm not even really using that many but I'm keeping 20 just in case 
We're not going to need the frag grenade uh, or the mollies, but I'm taking them anyway. Uh, you just never know, right? You just never know. That gets us down to 42. That's pretty good. Now, she's definitely going to want to put that militia hat on. Right? Right! Okay, let's take a look at her. Under the lamp. Not bad, Bonnie. Not bad. So, everybody, that's the end of this episode. We successfully got through most of Super Duper Mart. We looted it up as much as we possibly dared. Um, going back in that back corner is kind of not a good idea. It's a non sequitur. There's nothing back there that's worth it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And we may go back there in a future date. I do want to go into the convalescent home and loot that up. So in the next episode, we'll do that. And maybe we'll go ahead into that back corner. Between episodes, I'm going to loot up. I'm going to take all my stuff out of there. Uh, the Super Duper Mart, bring it up here, and drop it off. I'm going to empty out dog meat, bring him back, and fill him up as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And if there's something you want to see in Fallout 4, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, alright man, until next time, Bonsai Butterfly, signing off.